to the ass. My ass! I mean, you have been sitting there a while. You treat me like a sister. We could try that. I have been trying, Andy, and you have not been playing along. You know I'm useless at this. No, people can change. Uh, you certainly have. You had just done a light of coke off my ass. And I like how you changed. No, you don't! I do, I just don't think that... you liked how I changed, you wouldn't have gone to see Sasha when I was at the Cowan Championship. She had nowhere else to stow. You did not have to be in the same apartment as her. You know that's my favourite one. Oh, you should say that to your parents, they get you another one. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Say it again. Fuck you, Megan! Come closer. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bitch! You fucking bitch! What did you say to me? I fucking hate you! And I fucking hate you too! Yeah, so uh, that chip in the paint there is something that uh, the ex did. But it's got a full kitchen, a nice little balcony outside. The handle, the handle gets a little screwy, but I'm pretty sure it's fixed now. I don't have much need for the place since, uh, since the ex left. I don't even think about throwing a sesh or the shades will be called. You've got nosy neighbors next door. You're not the owner. No, no, I just manage it for my parents. So they listed it at 750? 788. What? It was listed at 788. Uh, my mistake. Could we get that to you in writing? Don't mind him, he's a writer. But now that you've said it, <laughs> and you're not the owner. No. 7.50. I move out on the 5th of October, does that work for you guys? It should, right? Right. Right, I, uh, I've i been meaning to talk to the front desk about bike storage. The ex used to let me store my, um, she had the car attachment. Um, I'll leave you two to the side. The apartment's pretty new. There is mold in the bathroom. <laughs> nice place. Yeah, very. Good location. Yeah. 750 is a bad for the location. Mm. Don't you think it's missing something? Like what? Another bedroom. It's got a living room. Well, the face is a window. A balcony window. It's not very private. I'll put in earplugs. No, I mean, people on the street can see what we're doing. Let them watch. You'll get the bedroom anyway. In what universe? I don't really care. I might sleep in the tiles if I have to. Well, the kitchen's very nice. Mm. Are we just doing what everyone else does? What do you mean? Is this what everyone does when they get some courage and a job, they move out to the city? Are we going to be surrounded with the same people from back home, except now our entire paycheck goes toward it? Well, 750. And no, because if we take this apartment, we'll meet other people who have the courage to throw their entire paycheck and all their savings just to try something. We'd be part of the group who try things. <clears throat> Am I a scab? Really? You could take the place for yourself, have the place alone? What are you going to do? Stay in me the mind own while your parents go to Spain? Or worse, they'll take you with them. They've taken it. Exactly, so we'll split the rent. Well, the bedroom is obviously the best room. I'll flip you for it. No, if you don't take the bedroom, Catholic guilt will set in, and, and Jesus will kill me. <laughs> I'll die too for the same reasons. Oh, and then we really couldn't try anything. Look, I've already offered it to you. Why don't you just take it? Heads or tails? Tails. Right. It's heads. Perfectly fine. Oh, so you do want the bedroom? Of course I want the bedroom, Martin. It's a nice bedroom. Who wouldn't want the bedroom? Maybe we should look for another place. Staff has no other options. This place is a good price, a good location, and it's available now. If we take this place, what matters to me is that you're happy. I'm not not happy. Right? <laughs> because if my mom saw me in the bedroom and you on the couch... I'll put in a bed. I'm serious, Eloise. So am I. I don't want to spend every night I planned around a fucking bus schedule. Or carry everything I own to the city when I want to come here. A consolation. What? A consolation to my agreement. Do you mean a condition? What? A condition to my agreement. I should have known that. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> well, what's the condition? That you get the bedroom. Best two out of three. Okay. Heads. It's tails. <laughs> 
One for consolation. Heads. What is it? Wait till it settles. It's tails again. <laughs> and you get the bedroom. They're going to ask to sleep over. Well, where do they sleep? Right. Isn't that amazing, though? What? That we hold all the power. Right. We get to decide who sleeps in our apartment. Mm, it does roll off the tongue, doesn't it? Mm. Our apartment. <laughs> our apartment. <laughs> our apartment. <laughs> don't. No, I've decided. You promised. No, a coin promised. I, I don't obey coins. And you're a girl. <laughs> What does that have to do with it? <laughs> well, you, yeah. you need more space. <laughs> <laughs> well, what exactly? Uh, for makeup and <laughs> clothes. Oh, yes, and applying tampons and coordinating no, moon cycles. I didn't mean that. <laughs> well, what did you mean? I sincerely, desperately, and genuinely want you to have the bedroom. And you have no other reason. Is my sincere affection for you not enough? It's maybe too much. Come on. I'd uh, put up a beaded curtain to separate it from the kitchen. And black line paintings? Oh yes, lots of mandalas. <laughs> Fine. But you know, that's the main reason why roommates get into fights. <laughs> About guests. Romantic guests, that is. Well, that's what the beaded curtain is for. Uh, well, i tell you first, you know? Same. But what if we overlap? If we overlap? I'm just saying, what if the occasion arises and we haven't talked about it? Well, then we first? would deal with it then. Fine. If I had any concerns, I would tell you. Okay. I thought of one. That was fast! We <laughs> should uh, divide the chores. Oh, yes, like dishes. Right. How about we just do the dishes straight away? Well, I was thinking more bigger picture. You'd rather they pile up? Well, if you're in a rush. It takes a second. What if, when I come home, I have to quickly eat and meet some friends? In that case, I would put all my dishes in the sink and do it later. That's why the sink has a basin. Otherwise, all sinks would have those shallow basins, like the ones in the bathroom. It's a dish holder. <laughs> I'm having a vision. Call me psychic. And in this vision, I'm coming home from acting class to lots of your fucking dishes in the sink. And where am I in this vision? Well, you're down at Black Rock or somewhere posh and you're doing a reading. And you've read two chapters on, so you're late back. Right! And, and so I would come back and do the dishes as soon as I walked in the door. Well, no. Because that's the other thing. In this vision, it's Christmas. And I decided to host a dinner for my entire play company, because I can't pay them. So I would need the kitchen for the whole day. So I can cook them a ham. <laughs> in Coca-Cola. <laughs> with arranged cheeses. <laughs> well, you're right, that, that could get complicated. That's why if we talk about it now, we can avoid it. In this vision, I would rush home, and by now my suit would have been ripped to shreds because the audience is clawing all over me for another chapter. And then I tell them to buy the damn book, and then it sells out immediately. <laughs> so it only makes sense that I come home and grab a dozen more copies, and while I'm on the phone with my agent, mm -hmm. demanding a second print edition, I would do the dishes. Good. I don't want this to be too big of a party. I'm not worried. Well, we'll call the shades. <laughs> we should tell everyone to leave before midnight. I'll have to get the bus home anyway. Yeah, but not us. Because we live in Dublin! <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Davenport. How did you and Martin meet? Great question, thank you for asking. We met back in Mead when he moved here from America. We quickly became friends as we were the only people who didn't see the appeal of teens just shifting each other at Tivoli all weekend. But we really became close when we moved to Dublin. Uh, and now with your latest film coming out. Ah uh, yes, our latest project. Right, uh, there you are in the leading role. Martin wrote the script. What was it like to work professionally with someone who is so close to you? Amazing. Martin's one of the best. One of? Uh, the best. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this was a particularly close to home project for him. Oh, uh, could you remind us of the title? Yes, of course. Allies for IBS. <laughs> <laughs> Allies for IBS. Yes. Particularly hard because of all the issues of masculinity it dealt with. 
<laughs> oh. He's had problems with that ever since he was castrated as a child. <laughs> oh. Yes, his grandmother came up with the garden shears and just snipped it right off. <laughs> Long time ago now. All smooth down there. Oh. I'm kidding. You kid weird. <laughs> Should we just have everybody huddle in the kitchen? Keith, think for as much as we pay. Everybody pays for their little boxes of brick and glass. You really are a writer. <laughs> I can't spell the word tomorrow. Nobody's perfect. Are there, uh... You can't just live off of eggs. I can run out. I can run out. No, no, you got exercises to do, movement. I guess I do. I can do. I will be right back. You'll never guess who I saw down there. Who? Do you remember Megan? Megan from primary? No, um, Megan. She's from the Netherlands. Ah, uh, yes. She goes to Trinity, doesn't she? Right. Uh, climate science. She works in Spar. She stays in the place in the Grand Canal. Good for her. Yeah. I invited her out tonight. On a date? You don't remember meeting her. How did we meet her? She was tall. I thought she was a friend of yours. I. I thought she was a friend of Sierra's. She's very tall. Yeah, I know. I just don't know how. She has lots of freckles, doesn't she? Might have been beauty spots. Hormones. I think we're both the same girl. Well, um, anyway, <laughs> it worked. I said to her, I didn't recognize you at the heels. I should ask Sierra how she knows her. She probably does courses with her. Or she was so drunk she just dragged her off the street. Well, she didn't mention her, but she said she gets off work at 10. Are you sure that's a date? How could that not be a date? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> this is something all you men get wrong. <laughs> Sometimes a girl's just trying to make friends. A girl is allowed to make friends. And you know, unless she says you're going on a date and uses those words specifically, you're going as friends. I get it. Maybe I, she was just trying to be nice. I get it, but in this hypothetical situation, well, wouldn't any first dates be starting out as friends? Oh yes, you go as friends and end the night as lovers! That's not what I, that's not what I meant. Mm. That's kind of what you're saying. All I'm saying is that friendship can turn into love. You should take her to Milano's. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Somewhere on the south side. She goes to Trinity, I mean. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Trinity's girls stay on the south side. Trinity girls are boring. Look, I'm happy for you. I'm just telling you because we agreed. Agreed on what? That I would let you know if I was going out on a date. You're planning on bringing her back? I'm not planning on anything. Oh, but it's a possibility. I don't want to ruin the chance. So do you want me to leave? I can leave if you want. You know, I have my workshop anyway. Um, Are these a trial? No, no, it's just a workshop. <laughs> Did you want me to make you eggs? Uh, no, no. Uh, do, do you want some? No, I had porridge. Okay. Okay. Is something wrong? No. Nothing. I, uh, I made you something. <laughs> Is that a beaded curtain? Oh! Oh. What do you think? I love it. Do you perfect. like it? I love it. Really? It's perfect. Okay. I've already measured in everything. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, is this the part where you tell me that I'm broken, that you can fix me? <laughs> oh, no. No, this is the part where I try to figure out how you're absolutely depressed. I'm not depressed because there are solutions. You really think so? There are solutions. Well, that's a very positive outlook. And what's the other outlook? That we all die? That's my outlook. Well, I prefer not to think that way. This is what they teach you at Trinity. This is what I've learned despite how they teach us in Trinity. They seem to think that since they've got this historical school, they can just send us pre-recorded lectures and sit back in their tenured seats, you know? <laughs> no! You're a writer! Uh, is uh, writing a vocation? It's an art. Well, you don't know if I'm any good. If you were a bad writer, you'd brag about it more. Mm. And yet I barely mention it. So I suspect you're probably good. Do you want a drink? Sure. What do you have? Whatever was left over from the party. But the babies. Uh, <laughs> it might have curdled. Oh, I, don't, I have an obsession with babies. I need to try it this year. <laughs> so, whiskey? No. Unless I'm staying here. Nice curtain. <laughs> Thanks. Eloise got it for me. Are you guys... The best of friends. Right. Mm. Just checking. I lived with a guy once. We started hooking up. That's usually how it goes. <laughs> All right. You never showed me your room. You're looking at it. <laughs> I presume... No, my, my mattress gets delivered on Monday. Great. <laughs> Whatever it takes. <laughs> what? Whatever it takes to live in Dublin. <laughs> uh, well, there's nothing good back home. So true. You should see my place. Oh, my God. The pipes for the shower are the same as for the bathroom. So if you want to take a shower, you have to go upstairs. If you want to do some toilet, you can stay downstairs. And uh, my room, you can tell it was divided with some ply walls because I live in half hotel room, practically a hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to get me to ask you to move in. <laughs> no! I would never! <laughs> There's no privacy here. It's nice to have privacy. Oh, well, Eloise will be back soon. And the last Lewis leaves in 45 minutes. <laughs> what do you want to do with that information? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, shouldn't you be biking home with your climate science and all? <laughs> I never said I was perfect. Uh, the amount of red-eye flights I take to retreats, it's environmental terrorism. <laughs> it's ironic that my degree is going to make me a lot of money. <laughs> You're going to need a sugar mommy. <laughs> Miranda, it's Megan. Yeah, I remember you lots of freckles. Well, what's going on? Workshop went fine, thanks for asking. Look who I ran into in the lobby. He's gonna help us fix the door handle. Uh, it's Andy. He gave us the tour. I used to live here. Right, Andy. <laughs> I love the curtain. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And wait, you guys aren't uh, sharing the bedroom? We flipped a coin. Right. Right. You know, when I used to live here with the ex, she used to just sleep with me. Only a few times I slept out on this couch. Towards the end. Anyway. Thank you, Seth. Yeah, I have to move back in with my parents. You mentioned that. We haven't met. I'm Megan. Andy, I used to live here with the ex. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I know what your room looks like. <laughs> Didn't I ever tell you that story that wasn't about me? Come on. <laughs> the last Lewis leaves in 30 minutes. <laughs> Are we in a rush? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. Is that right? <laughs> Is this where you work? Yeah, I spend too much time in this room. Too much time alone? 
Can we have a smoke? <laughs> That's what you want to do with time. I, I just don't think I want to kiss. No, you want to see what your roommate is doing. I don't care what she's doing. Are we going to shag or am I leaving? <laughs> Was that a question? Just answer it. Can you ask it again? Are we going to go any further than this, or should I go for the Lewis? Because tonight's not worth a taxi. <laughs> You look tired. That's not an answer. I'm not good at being Just direct. Just say no! Oh, you look tired. Maybe you should go. Jesus. <laughs> you know what? You're hot. I'm hot. But something about this is not hot. You can find me later and explain. Uh, it was a believable dog. Well, was it really though? Because it's called character devising? Um. What were you saying? <laughs> you were a Great Dane? No, Great Danes don't do yapping. <laughs> a poodle. Close, I was a poodle mix. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder to guess when it's a human being doing it. <laughs> sure, but that's the challenge of it. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Me too. I'll walk you out. It was nice seeing you. Same. Right. I thought we had a rule. Rule about what? About bringing romantic guests back to the apartment. He wasn't a romantic guest. Well, you, all right, you don't have to tell me. Oh, I'm sorry I saw him in the lobby and I asked him to come up. You don't have to lie. I'm not lying. Why? Do you feel like you know the real reason I brought him back? No, I don't want to assume. No, do tell. Maybe because you were jealous. Because <laughs> you saw me and Megan and you grabbed the first person you know. Jealous. Of the Netherland girl with moles. They're freckles. They're moles! <laughs> or maybe your workshop didn't go well, I don't know. Oh, neither do I. Write about it. Don't be like that. I'm not being like anything. Alright. Fine. Do you know, I've never heard you pee before. <laughs> <laughs> Are we really going to be mad at each other or something so stupid? Is this our roommate fight? I am allowed to be annoyed. Yeah, <laughs> you are. <laughs> Stop listening to me, Pig. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll cover my ears. You, you, you shouldn't have anything against Megan. You, you don't know her. Oh, well, I didn't see much of her before she went into your room. Behind the curtain, you mean? I'm sorry I brought Andy over. It was stupid. No, it's your apartment too. Did you want to sleep over again? You know, me and Megan didn't do anything, I didn't right? Ask. We didn't. Well, that's a shame. She was tall. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind? Mind what? If I stay over. I have one consolation. Condition? <laughs> My back really hurts from all the character devising. The dog thing? Yeah, the dog thing. <laughs> you can stay over if you give it a rub for me. Sounds fair. Well, once my mattress gets delivered tomorrow, you won't have to deal with any of this. Oh, you mean your sweaty man body? I didn't say it that way. All right. I'll miss our sleepovers. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, you're allowed. I'll only be across the hall. You know my auditions tomorrow? It'll be perfect. Well, however it goes, it'll be over and the men will be fully moved in. Oh? This was our first roommate fight. Didn't last very long. Maybe it was a test. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh. Oh? More like, oh. <laughs> Is that a good O? Mm. It's a good O. What if this goes wrong? It could. What if this goes right? Well, however it goes, you can write me a note if it goes wrong. Well, it's a very reductive thing to say. It's a very pretentious thing to say. Of course I'd write you a note. All right. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm going on a retreat for the weekend. 
So you're gonna miss Halloween? I'll be back that night. I thought we were gonna host something. I thought it was a loose plan. I told everyone at the party. I just thought it was a loose plan. What's the retreat then? Um, Sierra told me. Sustainability Society. She's in the Sustainability Society. That might be how she met Megan. I see. I can make other plans. I don't need to. No. Do whatever you want. Do you know what? You can do these. Do your own fucking dishes. Mm. <laughs> He still works. <laughs> Anyone home? Nah, I already checked. So the place is ours. As long as they're away. He's happy at court fire. And the girl, she is for audition, and that is all day long. You know, I sort of miss this place. I'm surprised you had a key. Oh, well, I made a copy for the X. You know, I've never done any of this before. Just to think we met two days ago, and then you rode me home on the back of your bike. <laughs> and now, here we are. Here we are. I want you to do me right here. So <laughs> demanding. It's, it's because of the climate. <laughs> what? I study climate science. <laughs> so all day I have to learn about how the world is changing and how the volcanoes are erupting prematurely <laughs> and how the clouds are no longer protecting us from UV rays and how the sea levels are rising. <laughs> and all day I have to learn about all these terrible things and then I get home. And for some reason, all I want is to get tossed around by a big, strong man. <laughs> I'm, uh, <clears throat> uh, flattered. Sex is the opposite of death. <laughs> we need to figure out a way to get back here. Maybe I can offer to house a... I would love that. I'm not your... I know. I missed the last Lewis from Houston I had to take a taxi. So you're not going? Oh, I don't know, just the woods. Right. Wait. What? I, I know you're still mad at me for some reason, and I was thinking about going for the weekend. And I know what we would do, we would drink and, and play stupid games and guzzle the liquor. And, and, and I would be sad the whole time. I, I'm happy here with you. And I'm happy when you go and you come back in your tracksuit and I'm, I'm happy you have a space to express yourself. And I thought of all the years I've known you, I've never seen you more free. And I've never noticed things like, like how you cut up a carrot and you almost let the knife hit your thumb every time. That's how you know to pull away. Just how dedicated you are to acting makes me want to become a better writer. The point is, for the first time in my life, I feel happy enough that I don't really care what anybody else thinks of me. I don't really care what Megan thinks of me either, because I know when I come back to this apartment, I will have you here. She really did have too many freckles. <laughs> They're moles, and we both know it. <laughs> With the neighbors. Looks like a makeup mirror. It looks like my makeup mirror. Well, wait one second. What, Martin? I don't know what to say. I mean, I, I guess I feel the same. Do you? Because I've really thought a lot about this and how our relationship has changed in the week that we've been here, and I don't want to waste time or I'll just end up as sad and depressed as that Andy fellow. Yeah. Now they're throwing clothes and a lampshade. It's probably a breakup. It's a cute dress, though. Good taste. 
That looks a lot like my stuff. I love you. <laughs> what? That's what I realized. Martin. I unless you. I'm wrong, unless I'm totally wrong, and you actually love Andy. Of course I don't love Andy. I pity him more than anything. I promise he kept his ex as long as he did. <laughs> and I never liked Megan. I only thought she was intimidating, and when I hugged her, my, my face pressed against her boobs, but now I think she has <laughs> a really big push-up, or like stuffs her bras. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. I love you, Elvis. I, I think... I'll call the guards. This is breaking and entering. No. Shut up. <laughs> I'll ride you home. Fine. I'll take the bumpy ride. <laughs> How did he get in did here? You invite me I just got back. So they snuck in. Why would he sneak into his own he apartment? And Megan. What? Wasn't she supposed to be at the retreat? She never showed up. This is never supposed to happen. Should I call the guards? I came back early from the trials today. Does that mean that... Well, there's always next year. You can... No, there's not. If I don't go down the double nuclear pipeline straight to the Lear, then I'm just destined to be one of those adult international students who still believes they're going to start a biop about themselves. <laughs> uh, well, things have a way of working out. I told you I'd write you a note. Oh. <laughs> uh, have you seen my contacts? Your lenses? Yes, my box of contacts. I thought I left them in your room. They're not in there. Do you not have spares? No, those were my spares. Uh, I guess I have to start sleeping out here more. But what if they come back? No, no. They were just two crazy people who took advantage of us. They probably forgot to lock the door or something. But what if they get angry or they want revenge? No. I looked up what you're supposed to do after you've been burgled. And it says to call the insurance company, but obviously we don't have insurance. <laughs> but then it says they're more likely to strike again if they were successful. Well, were they successful? They're terrorists, Martin. They terrorized us. This cannot be the defining trauma of my adult life. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to sleep alone. I'm going to get dependent. I'm going to start smoking cigarettes like Sierra. <laughs> Davenport, was there ever a time in your illustrious career no. as an actor? No. Well, now I'll be blind all day. <laughs> I invited Andy back over. What? Why would you invite listen, him back? Listen, I thought about this and we can use it as leverage, right? We can blackmail him to pay the rent at the end of the year and that'll cover the damage from the stuff. Was it really that expensive? No, but he doesn't need to know that. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to just bring this to the police? If I bring it to the police, they'll realise half my shit was from Sheen and make me pay them a bribe for wasting their time. <laughs> Plus I threatened him with the shades and he hates those shades. Are you sure you don't want me here? I'm just going to tell him what I told you. Alright. It's hard to remember we should be bettering ourselves with all this shit going on. I deserve a break. I wrote a speech for tonight. Something for me? Well, just for everyone, a speech. Well, it's anything like that. <laughs> I've got work. You come back at five, right? 
I get off at 5, and I'll run home from Temple Bar, be back at 5.15. Can you pick up mixers? I need orange juice and coke. Sierra and Neve will be here by 7. No, their bus gets in at 7, so they'll be here after 7. Okay. Look at us, making a good team. Should we tell them? Who? Them. About us? Oh, no. Well, I haven't thought of it. Okay. Well, it's a good thing. It is. It's just they made all these bets, and I don't want to prove them right, you know? <laughs> well, just act normally. Okay. Just don't kiss me. Not yet. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Orange juice and coke. If right. anyone asks, just tell them I'm a nun for the night. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good luck. Thanks. I love you. Shouldn't we be saying that all the time? <laughs> Is that wrong? No. It's a good thing. Okay, it's a good thing. Of course. I won't come in. You can. Not without your permission. <laughs> I am giving you my permission. If you don't give me your permission to enter, then anything can be perceived as breaking and entering, even an apartment tour. What? All I'm saying is if you did bring this to the police, well technically, I dislocated my shoulder here. I could also sue. How did you get in here? Do you have a key? I am not a creep. I mean... No! <laughs> this is not your time for talking. Mm -hmm. What you did was scary and stupid and terrible, and if I did want to go to the police, I'd show them how you destroyed my stuff, broke in when you knew we wouldn't be here, which is stalking as well as trespassing. And I'd have Martin corroborate my whole story. So if you don't want to be shit and solid logs of prison biscuit, you've got two options. Option one, you pay me in cash for what you destroyed in my room, which is frankly more than you can take out on your AIB card. Well, I mean, it's not... Option number two. You pay for our rent through to the end of the year, and if I see one notice of eviction or late payment, I know you know what that is. Then I'll go straight to the shades. So if you don't want me to go, you're playing the blackmail, you're going to pay for our rent, and you're going to never speak to us again. Understood? Look, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Look, I didn't mean to. We were just, we were so caught up in each other. I was riding her home on my bike. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought about how suffocating the house in Greystones was, and I had the key, and I wasn't thinking, and she was so convincing. <laughs> I know, Andy. I just want what's fair. Look, I'll pay the rent. I will. I just need you to promise me that you won't go to the shades. I'm losing... I'm losing sleep over this. It's like sometimes a man stops thinking with his head and his dick takes over and, well, my dick apologises too. <laughs> I, I can't promise you that. You're just going to have to hope that we don't. Do you guys, um, hate me? We don't hate you. Can you promise me that? <laughs> just accept the blackmail and leave. Sorry, it's a one-way system. You have to go down Nassau Street to the left to enter. Sorry about that. You know, just when I used to live here with the ex, we used to play a game. She would dress up as a repairman or a plumber, and we would just walk around the apartment breaking and fixing things. <laughs> Goodbye, Andy. All I'm saying is, whatever you've got going on with this Martin boy, try to keep things Interesting. That's something I learned too late. People used to say I was a very sort of like vanilla type of fellow. <laughs> but recently, recently I've been trying spicier and spicier things. Sort of testing myself with them. I started off with cumin. <laughs> and then Indian food. And then habaneros. 
And now I can eat those artificially spicy crisps that are so spicy, they're supposed to kill you. And I don't even shed a tear. That's the problem with having big windows. People see everything. Maggie! Shh! Martin's coming. Let's play later. Eloise? Uh, <laughs> 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 I got the mixers you asked for. I also picked up ginger ale. I couldn't see the close, but it might be ginger beer. I don't know. I figured they both work from Moscow Mules. Good. Yeah. You look great, really. I like what you're doing. Oh, I'm sorry, right? So now you're just the nun. You know, you'll never guess who I saw at the art museum today. No. I saw Megan. And she was there alone, probably because nobody wanted to go with her. And she goes on this whole rant about how our love is convenient and how it isn't real and the entire time I'm thinking how can I trust anything this woman says because she's got the type of corrupted morality to break into people's apartments and ruin their belongings you know <laughs> <laughs> how was the how was the Andy thing it was good 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 I was going to call you but I couldn't but I was going to tell you that you have to be very confident when you blackmail somebody because it can go very wrong even if you are confident about it it was fine. Are you nervous for this thing? <laughs> Don't be. Don't look, you look great. I love the little mask. <laughs> fine. fine. Well, seeing Megan today made me think, though, maybe... Maybe we should move out. Find somewhere nicer at the end of the year. I mean, this place is obviously giving us signs it doesn't want us to be here. And I, I don't believe in vibes and auras and all that, but when something isn't right, I just know it. And it's about listening. I, I haven't been a good listener to you, and then so I figure that we, we have some time, at least until our friends come. I've been so focused on what I want by making this apartment work that I keep forgetting that the woman I love has things that she wants. Probably more important things, so. <laughs> How are you? How are you doing? Uh. I know. I know I should have done all this sooner. I know that. I, I just feel like we've had these masks up for each other out of politeness or, or to placate each other and and a lot of crazy emotional stuff has happened am i crazy do you feel that way too <laughs> then i'm going to need a little communication i mean do you even want to be in this apartment anymore Maybe it was all too much. Listen, it's, it's two months rent if we leave. We can split it and find a new place in the meantime. I can call up Andy. Maybe he would void the fees. That is a good idea. Well, speak an hour forever. Well. Do you remember why we even moved into this place, though? So that you could act and I could write. We would be giving all that up if we moved home. We would be giving up. Some meals you have, man. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we just need some more time to decide. Get me out of here now! Jesus, you really feel that way? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. Yeah, no, it's very important. I know you were just here, but. And on drum? Just. Just hop the lotus in. Oh, you're here now. <laughs> you're looking so close. Why is everybody acting so weird? It's Halloween. <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? Did you run here? 
I'm going as a guard. The guards don't wear that. It's an undercover unit. <laughs> Can I have some water? Eloise and I have decided that we want out of the apartment as soon as possible. <laughs> what? We don't want any fees. We just want out. It feels like we're being watched. <laughs> Can I have some water? You could have just stolen it. So you'll be out uh, tomorrow? Did you decide to take my box of contacts when you trespassed into our house? What is this? Is this water? It's ginger something. Spicy. <laughs> Eloise, did you just put your dish in the sink? Mold. Shut up! Where is Eloise? Where did you put her? <laughs> Eloise, what happened? I, I... She locked me in! What's going on here? Shut up! She came back, you both came back, and she was dressed just like you. And you couldn't tell it was with me. I didn't have my contacts in. Oh, what about her height? Or the way she walked? Or her voice? You really couldn't decipher it was me, and you say that you love me. This has nothing to do with that. I know how it sounds when you pee. It completely has to do with that. <laughs> what colour are my eyes? They're green. They're light. Blue. Should we uh, go? Wow. Oh, you are not going anywhere. Your boyfriend already agreed to give us the place, so... He what? Um, we are not leaving, and he's not my boyfriend. Eloise. This was my apartment long before it was ever yours. No, I don't. What? <laughs> Andy and I used to live here together. What? You're the ex. This apartment! This is for your benefit. To show you how pointless this all actually is. I mean, I tried telling you, but you wouldn't listen! Maybe we didn't plan it out enough. I should have worn a mask. People won't listen unless we show them. I mean, you should know that. Who is there to tell me that relationships can get free, free? Fucking tough sometimes. It's hard enough being a person than to be with another one. <laughs> this is our game. I mean, there are so many things that divide Andy and I. Too many. But this, this is ours. This isn't our problem. They made it our problem. We are your problem! <laughs> but we are your solution because oh, when the conversation topics trickle and you've both become so occupied with trying to sustain a relationship you don't even know it holds it together anymore, you might. Decide to make a game of it all. To create something. <laughs> that holds power. I mean, is this any worse than cook holding or sex clubs? If anything, you are kink shaming. Your kink requires our consent. And our game works. And each time we made love, it was better and we eclipsed each other. We really need to know all of it. At first, I thought maybe we could just peek through the windows, but then. I wanted something a bit more interactive. <laughs> Did you watch us in bed? I have a strict commitment not to king shame. <laughs> Your kink requires our consent! Pick up where we left off. Wait, wait! So you don't study climate science at Trinity? No, I'm an actor. I went to the Lear. <laughs> Get out of my apartment. Listen, listen. When I first tried these things, I wasn't prepared exactly. But I learned to love them. I learned through exposure. <laughs> this is your exposure! <laughs> and if you don't want to play anymore, I'm going to have to kick you out. You already agreed to give us a lease, so the place is as good as ours again. How did you know it wasn't me? She left her dish in the sink. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> We're going to give you two options. <laughs> Option one, I go to the shades of everything. I recorded this whole conversation. You might not go to jail, the lovely place that it is. You'll definitely be paying fines. We don't care. My parents are loaded. How do you think we even got this place? Option number two, you put us up in that peat box by the Grand Canal and pay for our rent for a year, two years even. Or enough until the baby comes. What? what? Oh my god, I'm so close. <laughs> This is the only sort of thing that gets her off anymore. <laughs> I, uh, I blame Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! <laughs> yep. Thank you. <laughs> it's been very 
very instructive. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What? The key. All of them. Can I jump? No. <laughs> just eat. It's just the balcony. If uh, if you turn the handle up, you won't get locked out. You're pregnant. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing since my boyfriend was castrated as a child. It's castrated? Yeah, his grandmother believes an old style of castration. Oh, you were kidding? <laughs> yes. Just kidding. God, you kid weird. <laughs> Martin. Yeah? Why did you tell me you loved me? I told you the reasons. No, I don't want the reasons that sound like little poems. I, I want the reason that you told me that you love me. I want that reason. Because I felt I could. Because you felt you could. Yes. It just doesn't feel good enough. Might be right about that, actually. Do you think maybe we're just tourists here? Our lives and our loves belong somewhere else with someone else. That doesn't mean we can't visit. It just means you can't stay. We need to love what we do instead. I don't want to end up like them. We need to find our desires and what drives us. That's a very pretentious thing to say. Privilege. There is my Martin. Sorry. Who am I to thank for this privilege? My dead grandmother for emigrating here? Or my parents for smothering me in compliments? I can't give away my privilege, Martin. What do you want me to do? Renounce it? We pronounce it if we become artists. Or we use it if we become artists. But do you really love writing enough that you'd rather do that than staple memo sheets together for the rest of your life? Or grind gears in a factory? Yes. Well then write and I'll act and if we want to reevaluate our lives in a few years, we can. And the sheets will still need stapling and the gears in the factory will still be going and maybe, maybe we could meet tourists together somewhere. I don't know. Privilege to just throw your life around it and look at it from all angles. Find a way. <laughs>